Okay, so I've been messing around with uh, the blues tune. Next time you see me that uh, Dead used to cover. I don't know if they ever covered that after Pigpen passed. I, don't, I haven't checked the uh, lists. But um, I always just kind of wing that uh, opening lick Jerry did, and I finally decided to, to learn it because it's, it's such a nice lick. So i um, play it uh, in A blues. Starts out on E. So that's what the lick's over, and I got it as something like this, although not exactly sure, but. Now, as is often the case with, with uh, Jerry, I'm very confused. <laughs> confused at times as whether he's doing that ma that major third thing in this case the C sharp major third of A or that flat third or more of a blues oriented C because you can really do that a number of ways anyway let's start from the beginning that's an E note here on the G string on the ninth fret four times then I'm bending the uh, uh, C, C note up to a C sharp, same thing there with the uh, uh, major third, I suppose, uh, on the E string there. Then I'm pulling up to the E from the uh, E flat, then the A on the B string on the uh, tenth fret. Then I'm bending the uh, B on the twelve, back to the A. Bending the B up and then coming back down to the B. Then back to the, the uh, bar A uh, onto the B string with the, uh, the E note. So, um, or just bend that rather than hammering. And then the last part, all right, a uh, quick hammer up from the C to the C sharp, and then arpeggio in the A, the C, E, A. And then dropping back to the F sharp, to the A again, to the E, to the D on the uh, G string. Back to the E again, and then a hammer on quick from the C to the C sharp before the A on the D string. To the E7. Alright, try it again. in that turnaround as well. It hurts you, my darling. You've only got yourself to blame. Thing, just to highlight um, the options as far as accentuating the major versus the minor or blues uh, accents on this. I've been playing what I think Jerry does, which is the more major-oriented accents. Now, instead of the C-sharp and the F, which is the major third and the sixth, um, 
play the flat third or, or the the C, which is like kind of the blues second, and the dominant uh, seventh, the G instead of the uh, sixth, uh, which is the F. Um, and then you can mix and match in, in, within that. Um, play, which I think is possible, the the uh, major in the beginning of the C, still playing the F, but and then the more bluesy accented C note with a little bend before the A, rather than a hammer. Eh, there's a lot of things going on there that are open to you, so I just wanted to point that out.